Are you at an advanced English level, but still feel like your English doesn't really sound like a native speaker? Welcome back to Lingoni English. My name's Emily, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you some slang for social situations as well as relationships. Let's get started. So just as a refresher, what is slang? Slang is used in informal situations, almost always informal. Sometimes slang will kind of move to the more formal everyday use. But for this purpose, slang is totally informal use of words that are more common in context of like speaking and within certain groups of people. So you often hear slang in movies or you might read it in books or hear it in TV shows, podcasts, etc. Okay, so are you ready to go? I thought we would start out with the first topic, slang for socializing. So the first slang word we have is a blast. So a blast is actually like an explosion. Um, but in this sense, a blast means like super fun, like amazingly fun. So for example, that party last weekend was a blast or have a blast on vacation. I wish I could go with you. Okay, the next one is booze. Have you ever heard this word in English before? Booze. This is a slang term for alcohol. So the alcohol you drink. So like beer, wine, tequila, whatever. The party is going to be full of booze. Or do you know if there's going to be any booze at the wedding? Okay, easy enough, right? Let's move on to number three. Speaking of booze, we're talking about getting wasted now. Have you heard this in movies and TV shows? I'm sure you have. And getting wasted means getting drunk. So, oh my gosh, did you see Tom at the party? He was totally wasted. Getting wasted. So he got wasted, if that's in the past. And if it's in the present right now, he is wasted. Oh my gosh, he's so wasted. Wasted. All right, let's move on to number four. And that's the phrase, I'm down. I'm down. If you're down, that actually just means that you're up for something. You want to do something. It's kind of confusing, right? So if you're up for something, so you want to do something, you say, yeah, I'm down. So maybe your friend invites you to the lake for the weekend. And you say, yeah, I'm down. I don't have anything else going on. I'm down. You can also say, she's down, he's down. Oh yeah, I asked Robert if he wanted to go to the movies and he told me, yeah, he was down. And then the last one for socializing, maybe the most important one for socializing, is the phrasal verb hang out. So you might have heard this one by now too. Maybe one of your American friends has sent you a text message that said, hey, what's up? Do you want to hang out? And that just means to spend time together. So you hang out with someone. So I was hanging out with Susan last night when Marta also came by to hang out. Okay, so those were the five socializing slang words and phrases. Now let's move on to five more, but this time it's about relationships specifically. Number one, a crush. If you have a crush on someone, it means you like them romantically in the very early stages of, of liking. So you're not in love with them, but you like them. A lot of times little kids will have crushes on each other. Um, it's very, very innocent and sweet. And yeah, that you just say, oh, she has a crush on her or he has a crush on Sally. Okay, number two is to dump someone. If you dump someone, you end a relationship with them. So it's another way to say breaking up with someone. So breaking up with someone, dumping someone. And if you are the person who got broken up with, you can say, I got dumped. So you get dumped or you dump someone. So for example, my little brother came home from school so sad today. I think his girlfriend dumped him. Or have you ever gotten dumped? Okay, let's move on to number three, to make out. 
So if you're making out with someone, that means you're kissing very intensely. So maybe you think of teenagers being teenagers, making out, or like at a party, you could say, oh my gosh, they're making out over there, gross. Or, oh my gosh, my crush made out with me yesterday. So make out with someone. And then obviously in the past tense, made out. Okay, number four, an ex. So you might have heard this one before too. Your ex is your ex relationship. So the person you were with before you broke up or dumped them or they dumped you. Um, So it is your partner from before that you are no longer with. So for example, oh my gosh, my ex is calling me. What does he want? Or, ugh. I really wish that Sandra would stop hanging out with her ex. He's such a loser. So you can you can just call them your ex or you can be even more specific and say ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. So my ex-boyfriend is calling me, my ex-girlfriend is calling me or just my ex is calling me. Okay, and the final one for this video is number five, a turnoff. Now, if something is a turnoff, That means it's something you really don't like about someone. So maybe something someone might ask you is like, what are your turnoffs? Like if you, if you go on a date, what is like an automatic turnoff? And that means something that someone does that you just don't like. So for example, men that are rude to wait staff at restaurants and stuff, huge turnoff, like, no, thank you. Red flag. No, no, no. Um, so that's a turn off. And then there's also turn ons, which are things that you like. So for example, um, guys with a nice smile, something like that, like that's a turn on. He's, he's friendly. He's nice. So for this video, um, we're focusing on turn off, but it's important to know both. So again, a turn off is just something that someone does and you're like, no way. No, thank you. That is not for me. Okay, so I will ask you guys now a few questions and you can write them in the comments below or um, just practice writing sentences with them, using them. And now if any of these were new for you, you will definitely notice them when you're watching movies and TV in English. You'll be like, oh, now I know what they're talking about. Um, It's really important too at this level, at the more advanced level that you guys are at, to be consuming as much content in English as possible because you're really going to pick up on things like like slang, like phrasal verbs, all kinds of more advanced English stuff that will really help you sound more like a native speaker. So I'll ask you a few questions now, write them in the comments below, and um, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys write. So first question, have you ever been dumped or have you ever gotten dumped? Do you have any plans to hang out with anyone this weekend? What is a major turnoff for you when you're trying to date someone? When was the last time you had a total blast? Do you have a crush on anyone right now? Okay, those were the questions. I can't wait to see what you guys write in the comments. And of course, like always, I will check and make sure that everything's written correctly and um, give you guys feedback. So one last thing, don't forget to go to en.lingoni.com to check out our app. Thanks again for watching this video and uh, we can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you soon.